Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again from my color screen bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's home screen tutorial is the one and only Plus UI by Demai Scholar. Yes, it's that tutorial. Now, first of all, what makes this home screen so great? Well, if you ever use Google Plus on an Android phone, it is a really good looking app. And now that you have a home screen that looks just like it, well, what else is there? It's got all those Google Plus tabs on the side and it's got that special scrolling ability that even looks like it's part of an app which is actually quite mind blowing. So without further ado, let's begin with today's home screen tutorial. Boom! And one thing to point out, this is for intermediate to advanced users or home screen customizers. So if you're not too good with home screen customizing, first check out our beginner tutorials before moving on to this one because this is going to get a bit tricky. Let's begin. Okay, so first things first, we're going to be using the almighty lightning launcher. Now I know a lot of you haven't used this launcher before, but it's quite amazing the stuff that it can actually do. So you definitely want to go check it out. And you're welcome to use SS Launcher to try to replicate this home screen, but it's not going to be easy. And you won't get that exact home screen setup. Great, so if you have just launched your lightning launcher and there are icons or widgets in the way, you want to get rid of those. And to get rid of something on lightning launcher, it's pretty much the same. You're going to hold down on it, it'll bring up a little editing bo box and you want to select remove. And you want to be doing that to each one of those icons or widgets. One thing to note is that when that little home button shown, that means you're currently in edit mode and it'll allow you to move around the current home screen, which can get tricky, but in the end, it works out to your advantage. So once you like it the way it is, you're just gonna select back now and make sure that everything's cleared off this home screen. Next, you wanna be holding down on the home screen and selecting customize lightning. This brings up your lightning launcher customization page which you are going to become good friends with. So first we're going to be going into our current screen and then into our wallpaper and background because that's the first thing that we want to change. From here we're going to be going into select a wallpaper because you want to be changing the wallpaper and then either gallery or quick pick wallpaper. So we're going to be selecting that plus UI wallpaper that you've hopefully copied onto your phone and from here you want to select it and then make sure that it's taking up the entire screen. As you can tell this is for my Nexus 4 so you want it to be the top of or get rid of that status bar as you can see make it up the top like that and from here you want to select the tick button and that will now set the wallpaper for you. And that's pretty much it for the wallpaper. You just want to go back now. And now one thing to note is that you don't have to set the wallpaper for every screen. It's one screen for each one of your pages. But now we come to behavior, which is strictly page dependent. If you change your layout in home, it's not going to be the same than if you're on your social or media page. Remember that. So we're going to start off with going into our layout. So if you've been using any other launcher, this should look pretty similar. But we'll just go through it once again. Your grid columns, that's going to be obviously how many columns you have. Now for the Galaxy S3, you want seven columns. But for the Galaxy, well the Nexus 4, I found that 10 worked pretty well. But if that doesn't work for you, you're welcome to change it. Now for the rows, you want to change that to an 8 for a Galaxy S3. But because I'm using a Nexus 4, this grid size is going to change. And a 12 works pretty well. I'm just saying. So now you're just going to be going back. Now you want to be going into zooming and scrolling. This becomes very important as not changing this can yeah, get quite ugly. So for scrolling direction, I just changed it to vertical only as you only want to be scrolling up and down and not any other way and then you want to be changing these you want to disable snap to pages you want to also disable enable pinch zoom so yeah make sure that only you scroll stops are checked as well as disable diagonal scrolling once that's done you're going to go back and if you found a style that you really like you're welcome to go save to a style and go select new style and then save that style so if you make another screen and you just select loader style you can just select it and it'll configure everything accordingly boom just like that so you want to go back now that's pretty much your settings for a page done great so once you've got your wallpaper and some of your lightning launcher layout options complete we're going to be moving on to our lightning launcher screen list and screen tabs great so to simply add in a screen label now why are you going to be adding in a screen label as you're going to have quite a few screens and it might get a bit complicated. So we're just going to select add now and you want to select LL widget. 
make sure you download the app called LLW Super Screen Switcher. It costs about a dollar and a half, which might sound like a lot, but remember you're getting this launcher for free, so it actually is quite a bargain. And to buy it, you just need to select the, or the little plus here, which will bring up the Play Store, and there it is, the one that you need to install over there. So once you've installed the Super Screen Switcher, it'll come up with these four now. For some reason, mine are not showing, I'm not too sure why, but if you wanna see what they are, you can hold down on it, but don't select it, just move away from it. As you can see, the first one is Label. So we're gonna select the label, and you can see that one is, well, this is screen number eight. Yours should say screen number one. But don't worry about that for now. We're gonna be now adding in the list on the side here. And to do that, we're gonna be selecting Add Again, the LR widget, and you wanna select the one below it called Screen Switcher List. So you're gonna be selecting that. As you can see, I've already added in all of mine. And what you wanna do is resize it so that it covers all the icons over there on the side. Remember when it's in edit mode, be careful not to do this too much as it can get quite alarming on how different your screen will look. So once you've got it more or less covering all of them, it doesn't really matter if you can't get it exactly the way you want it, but you wanna hold down on it now and you wanna select customize and you wanna select widget options and you wanna select configure screens. Now what this enables you to do is actually add in more screens. So if you only got five, enable you to have six or more. So you wanna select number of screens to display. You're gonna be wanting to select seven. I went for eight as I'm just adding in this extra page to show you what to do. So remember to go for seven. From there, you wanna go set screen labels and for each one of them, you wanna label it to the one you want. So you wanna select home, social, web, music, office, games, and settings. Forget about number eight. As I said, that's the one that I'm just showing you for this tutorial as the backup is not working currently. So once you have all of these labeled, you wanna go back now and it should end up looking like this. And remember, if you've got seven screens, it should show this. Now, if you're on screen number one, home, it won't be shown as you're on the home screen already, which seems good, but it doesn't work out too well if you wanna be resizing this. So you wanna hold down on it again and you wanna select widget options and you wanna say select visible screens. So you wanna select, make sure that you have all of them selected. So if I wanted this number eight as well, I would select that and now this screen, if we go back and then back again, it'll now be shown in this list. Great, so we're almost done now. We just wanna hold down on it. We wanna select customize, we wanna select more, we wanna select the little plus here and you wanna change your transparency so that it's more or less in the middle. Doesn't really matter as long as it's not fully transparent as now when we go back, you can now see or move it to exactly the way you want it. So because you're not gonna have the eight, you should be resizing it so that it fits quite well. If it doesn't, you might wanna change those grid size options that I mentioned earlier. Great, so once you have it the way you want it, I wouldn't recommend making it fully transparent, which is what you need to do a bit later, as if you're adding in all the widgets on the side here, this can get moved around and you can lose it. And if it's transparent, it's not gonna end well. So I'd say leave it like this for now as you can always make it fully transparent right at the end. Great, so once we've got the list set up and the label selected, we're now gonna be adding in the widgets that are gonna be for each one of these screens. And that concludes part one of our Plus UI home screen video tutorial. In part two of this two part tutorial, I'll be showing you exactly what widgets need to be added, as well as some tips and tricks of how to get that exact Google Plus looking home screen. So you might wanna check it out.